Hey guys, I'm Eric with Extreme Terrain. In this video, I'm gonna give you my review and install of this Fishbone Off-Road Piranha front bumper with Stinger for all 1997 to 2006 Jeep Wrangler TJs. You should really be checking this out if you're looking for an affordable bumper that's gonna give you more capability in off-road situations. As you can see, it's obvious this is a stubby design that's about 20 inches shorter than your factory bumper. And that's gonna make it easier for obstacle clearance. It's gonna expose more of your tire. So when you're out there on the trails and you gotta put a tire up over a rock or a log or some other type of obstacle, your bumper's not gonna get in the way. The other nice feature of this bumper is this curved stinger bar that's gonna add protection to your radiator and grill. It comes up about 15 inches above the top surface of the bumper, so that's a lot more protection. Plus, it comes out at an angle. It's gonna push tree branches and other items out of the way if you're pushing down a kind of an overgrown trail. Plus, it has that capability that if you're coming down a extreme slope with an extreme angle, you're gonna have this bumper making contact with the ground before you get to a tip over point with your Jeep. The other bit of added off-road capability you get with this bumper are these solid D-ring mounts that are welded directly to the bumper. It includes two D-rings that are rated to 9,500 pounds each, so you have solid recovery points should you get stuck out there on the trails. Now, as it comes right out of the box, this bumper does not accommodate a winch. However, the manufacturer tells us that you can buy additional hardware and a mounting plate, and you could put a winch on this bumper if you choose to do that. You could also add some off-road lighting if you want in a couple of spots that are provided on the bumper as it is. This bumper is all coated in a thick, durable, textured black powder coat that's gonna protect it against weathering and corrosion for a long time. Price-wise, this comes in right around $350. That's about par for the course with stubby bumpers with these basic design features included. As far as the installation goes, I'm giving it a very basic one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. You should have no trouble getting this done in about an hour with some basic tools. So let's take a look at the tools we're gonna need for this installation. And then we're gonna show you a clip of how to get your factory bumper off of your Jeep. And then I'll be back to show you how to install your new fishbone bumper. All right guys, the tools we're gonna need for this install are an impact wrench, a 19 millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter socket. So our first step to taking off our factory front bumper is gonna to be to remove our sway bar cover. Now you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and we're gonna remove the two bolts on either side that are holding the cover on. So after the two bolts on the front are removed, there are gonna be two on the back, so you can remove those with the same 10 millimeter socket. After those four bolts are removed, we can peel up our sway bar and link cover. So after our sway bar cover is off, we need to remove the two bolts on the top and the one bolt on the bottom of either side of our front bumper. Now our hardware was replaced, so I'm gonna be using a 19 millimeter socket. However, these should be T55 Torx. So after the two on top are removed, we can remove the one on the bottom. Then same thing for the other side. After that last bolt is removed, we can remove the whole front bumper. All right guys, now that we got our stock bumper off of our old TJ here, I wanted to lay it out on the floor next to our new Fishbone Stinger bumper and just give you a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Now obviously the comparison is obvious and that's styling. The stock factory bumper is about 64 inches wide and the new bumper you're getting from Fishbone is about 20 inches shorter than that, kind of a stubby bumper. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna expose more of your tires and make obstacle clearance a lot easier if you're out there doing a little bit of extreme off-roading. The other nice feature about this Fishbone bumper is you have these two welded on recovery points that include two D-rings that come in the kit. We're gonna mount those here when we install the bumper itself. They're rated at 9,500 pounds, and that's gonna give you recovery options if you get stuck out there on the trail. Other than that, you have the stinger bar that comes up like that that's gonna give you protection for your radiator and grill. 
And those of you out there looking for that particular styling, this is an excellent example of that. I really like Fishbone products. Their fitment and build quality is really top notch. I've worked with a lot of their other types of products on Jeeps before, and I really like the Fishbone name. So other than that, you have the durable black powder coat that's gonna protect this bumper from the long run. So let's go ahead and get this thing mounted on our TJ. All right guys, now we're gonna replace the cover that protects our sway bar. Let's throw that back on top there and grab the bolts that we removed. These are 10 millimeter bolts. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right guys, at this point, we're ready to put our new fishbone bumper on. And it's not gonna wanna stay by itself because of the stinger bar kinda coming out and wants to pull it this way. So I'm gonna keep a hand on it. We're gonna go ahead and start our top two bolts over here. And to tighten them down, we're gonna use a 19 mil socket. Repeat that on the other side. All right, now replace this bolt here on the underside. Again, this is a 19 millimeter as well. And go ahead and mount your D-rings. All right guys, that's a wrap on this review and install of this Fishbone Off-Road Piranha front bumper with Stinger for all 1997 to 2006 Jeep Wrangler TJs. And for all things Wrangler, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.